Lexus Philippines gathered its friends, media guests, and top executives for a night of celebration held at its very own home in Bonifacio Global City. In 2009, Lexus entered the local car industry with the launch of its initial lineup, the LS460 flagship sedan, the ES350 executive sedan, the GS460 sport sedan, the IS300 compact sedan, and the LX570 full-size SUV. Lexus in the Philippines started 10 years ago. It was a big question back then if the Philippines was already ready for the Lexus. And as may have been shared earlier, a speech of Vito Soko, the big answer was yes, but it's in the how to do it. And uh, the big decision was we have to do it, but we have to do it properly. And after the long planning for Lexus in the Philippines, then we started this new home of Lexus in the, uh, in the Philippines, which is Lexus Manila. And more or less you'd see and feel what Lexus is all about when you look at this uh, showroom. In the span of a decade, filled with nothing but service to its Filipino customers, Lexus has secured a spot in the local auto industry as the top luxury brand. Uh, we brought in the Lexus brand in 2009. Uh, it went through a lot of study, a lot of planning. We studied the luxury market, um, our competitors, where the site of our dealership would be. And when the market was right, we introduced the Lexus brand in 2009 and opening up Lexus Manila as our one and only dealership in the Philippines. Lexus also finds it worth celebrating that for four consecutive years now, it has been able to maintain its place on the top in the commercial vehicle segment. This has positioned Lexus Philippines at the fourth rank regionally in terms of new car sales. In terms of market share, Lexus Philippines is top two among its Lexus regional affiliates. When we introduced this brand in 2009, our presence compared to the, uh, our competitors was really small. But uh, since then, the, uh, our product lineup uh, enhanced. The also our quality service also enhanced. Then also the uh, advertising, etc. All of uh, getting effort can uh, contribute to give us some uh, better image of our luxury brand of Lexus. Then we now having uh, uh, more than 30% of market share in the luxury brand. Uh, it's a really successful uh, story uh, of Lexus in the Philippines. Lexus has grown much in the Philippines and we're proud to say that last year, based on unofficial data, that Lexus was the number two luxury band in the car market. So this gives us much pride, no? as only in 10 years of existence in the Philippines and only one dealership were able to achieve such a feat. So also we thank all customers of Lexus for uh, choosing Lexus as their brand. In line with its 10th anniversary, Lexus has officially brought in the Lexus UX to the Philippine market, the brand's first ever introduction in the subcompact SUV segment. We just uh, introduced a new SUV model, UX. So this model is really just fit to the uh, customers who can enjoy the uh, sporty riding and also the uh, sporty looking. So I'm sure the, all of our, our customers can enjoy and be satisfied to have uh, this model. So please come to our showroom and uh, experience this great model. The Lexus UX is a subcompact SUV crafted and inspired by the traditional Japanese concept of Engawa that blurs the boundary between a home's exterior and interior designed to create a feeling of seamless continuity inside. This makes the UX a perfect car for those who are on the go and ready to explore. Well, we wanted a model that would bridge the gap between luxury customers and the regular contemporary customers. So let's say we wanted a vehicle where it would be easy to transition, let's say from a Toyota or even a Subaru SUV to a luxury SUV. So it has the usual luxury accoutrements. We have very comfortable seats in even the base model with fabric and synthetic leather on the base model. We also have a large infotainment screen of 7.2 inches and 10.3 inches on the F-Sport. We also have sports suspension on the F-Sport and we also have new engines for this. 
We also have the two liter inline four, which is powerful enough for this kind of car. And we feel like within urban usage, it is quite adequate. Lexus looks forward to more years of continued service for its Filipino customers to truly experience amazing aboard their cars. The outlook is also always very positive for 2019. I hope we remain as the top three luxury brands in the Philippines as well. Um, I hope sales are good for this year also. With the introduction of the UX, I hope we can bring in more people to our brand so that we can create more amazing experiences with our customers.